Hello, class. Good afternoon. How are you? Are you okay? Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm happy because I, you are here, okay? So uh, we're going to get started, and, but hold it. Okay, that's okay. Where okay, is it? Let me see if the platform is responding. Yeah, okay. Welcome class, I am so glad that all of you are here. We are going to get started right now. Ricardo Jose Flores, welcome. Jose Ricardo, welcome. Sandra Chavez, Luis Castaneda, Brenda Melissa, welcome class. Uh, listen, tell me about your work in the, in the platform. How many sections have you finished? Mm -hmm. Wow, Miss Brenda, enjoy for us. Okay, the fresh weather because it's very hot everywhere. Disfrute por nosotros el clima porque está haciendo calor por todas partes, okay? You are very fresh. Excellent. Congrats. Um, cuéntenme, chicos, ¿cómo, cómo les va con, con la plataforma? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo han estado trabajando? ¿Sí? ¿Han estado completando o no? Sí, sí, de hecho, bueno, yo este, le estuve viendo los videos y, y conforme a los videos estuve, estuve contestando las tareas que nos asignaba la plataforma. Ok, perfecto, sí, eso es, es eh, lo, lo que se tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Porque recuerden que en este grupo hemos tenido bastante distanciamiento con las clases, entonces por eso es de ver los videos y de estar trabajando, avanzar lo más que se pueda, porque, ah, pues, Así es. Hoy y mañana sí vamos a tener clases continuas. Vamos a poder darle como un poquito más de seguimiento. Y la otra semana tenemos tres clases seguidas. Es decir, que para el día martes de la otra semana tienen que haber terminado las, las cinco secciones. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, esta semana tienen que terminar lo, todo lo que tienen pendiente hasta la tres y la cuatro. La otra semana ya serían las, la, las cinco, nada más, eh, para el día lunes, tener terminado y el, y el martes, ¿verdad? Porque el miércoles es el último día de clase, ya todo tiene que estar completito, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Muy bien. Hello, Loida, welcome. Here we go. Let's get started. Vamos a comenzar y vamos a tratar de recordar lo que vimos en las clases anteriores. ¿Se recuerdan lo que vimos en la última clase? Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles temas estuvimos viendo? ¿Se recuerdan? Vamos a verlo acá. Este, yo recuerdo de que un repaso habíamos hecho. Ajá, un repaso sobre qué. Veamos. ¿Sobre qué era el repaso? ¿Se recuerdan, chicos? Sobre la sección 1, 2, 3. Ajá, muy bien. Y entre ellos teníamos los temas los posesivos. ¿Se recuerdan? ¿Sí? Los posesivos. ¿Sí o no? Sí. Possessives, ok. Decíamos que teníamos uh, possessive adjectives. Yes? Possessive adjectives. Y los possessive adjectives eran uno para cada pronombre personal. Entonces teníamos my, your, your, uh, his, her, its, Okay. Our, para nosotros, our, ¿verdad? Y luego teníamos their, ¿sí? Y decíamos que los adjetivos posesivos siempre, siempre tienen que ir al principio, ¿sí? Possessive adjectives. My, my name, my school, my car, your name, your son, your work. Y así sucesivamente. Luego... <coughs> Hablábamos también de los possessive pronouns. ¿De acuerdo? Y los possessive pronouns eran uno también para cada pronombre personal. Mine, yours, his, 
hers, ours, theirs. ¿Sí? Estos nunca pueden ir al principio de la oración porque no vamos a decir my name. No, decimos my name. ¿Sí? Entonces yo les ponía un ejemplo, creo. Si decimos my friend is, is uh, Robert. My friend is Robert. ¿Ya? Fíjense, acá esta oración estoy iniciando con el adjetivo posesivo, my, my friend is Robert, ¿ok? Pero si yo quiero expresar esta misma oración utilizando un posesivo pronoun, voy a decir, Robert is a friend of mine. Miren, al final va la ubicación del pronombre posesivo y el adjetivo posesivo my va al inicio, ¿sí? Entonces decimos Robert is a friend of mine. Robert es mi amigo. My friend is Robert. Luego teníamos el otro posesivo. ¿Sí? ¿Se recuerdan? El posesivo que era el apóstrofe y la S, ¿de acuerdo? Y este es bien común en nuestro país y decimos Lolitas Cafeteria. La cafetería de Lolita, pero recuerden que es un apóstrofe, no una coma. Si en la plataforma va a trabajar este posesivo, debe asegurarse que sea un apóstrofe, de lo contrario no se lo va a aceptar como bueno, ¿sí? Otro ejemplo usando el apóstrofe y el la letra S como posesivo, decimos Ricardo's cap is red. Bueno, los dos Ricardos tienen gorra y son rojas las dos. Y es Ricardo, eh, José Ricardo, en Ricardo José. Miren, el mismo yes. nombre tienen estos niños, pero, de... pero al revés, porque uno es José Ricardo y el otro Ricardo José. Oh my God, ya ven que por eso se les pide el nombre. Se pusieron digo, de acuerdo. Porque... Yes, oh my God. Ok, so I say, but it is with capital letter, ok? Ricardo's cap is red. La gorra de Ricardo es roja. Este apóstrofe y esta S quiere decir D. ¿Qué cosa es de Ricardo? La gorra. ¿Qué color es? Red. Yes. Esto fue básicamente lo que tal vez les podría haber generado un poquito de, de problema, ¿verdad? a la hora de la plataforma, pero por eso se aconseja que después de cada clase vayan avanzando y si pueden avanzar más, mejor todavía, porque así si hay algún problema, pues lo resolvemos en el camino, ¿sí? Ok, now that we have refreshed this uh, activity, we get back to the platform. Hello, William. Eh, Flor, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here, guys. <coughs> y continuamos. Eh, les voy a compartir la, la plataforma para que recuerden, ¿verdad? Porque acá es de avanzar lo más que podamos, porque con ustedes sí eh, nos sentimos bien alejados. Entonces, eh, con las clases, vamos a recordar este video, ¿sí? Permítanme, quiero ver si estoy compartiéndoles sonido, no vaya a ser que... Ah, sí, ya está activado. Okay. Como recordatorio y to refresh and get into the mood of being instructive. Como recordatorio y para que nos pongamos en acción ya en el modo, ¿verdad? De iniciar. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. No. 
where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And now um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out and as you can see the object is at the beginning not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. Mm -hmm. As you can see on the chart under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. 
the apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Mm -hmm. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Okay. So, as he said, now it is the time for you to practice as much as possible. I want you to tell me the following class. Did you complete the discussion in this part? ¿Completaron la discusión en esta parte? ¿En la plataforma en el 4.5? ¿Sí? ¿O no, no hubo tiempo? <clears throat> Acá, ¿qué es lo que tienen que hacer? Tienen que escribir oraciones usando adjetivos posesivos pronombres posesivos o el apóstrofe con AS que significa posesión. Cuando tienen las oraciones, usted hace acá clic, escribe sus oraciones y luego las envía. ¿Sí? Completamos ya esta parte. ¿Aún no la han completado? ¿Hola? ¿No? Bien, entonces no. vamos a hacer eso. Vamos a construir las oraciones y usted hace clic acá. Ingrese a la plataforma, por favor. En lo que ingresan a la plataforma, les voy a tomar la asistencia. Y van a escribir oraciones así como cuando iniciamos, ¿verdad? Sí, ya lograron ingresar. Y van a escribir oraciones. If I say, my ruler is yellow. Okay. My pen is red. My cell phone is black. I say, <clears throat> Ricardo's cap is blue. I'm sorry, red. Because I, uh, Yesenia, your top, is it black or blue? Yesenia, Patricia, your top, is it uh, black. black? Black. It's black. It's black. Okay. okay, so we say um, Yesenia's, the apostrophe and S, Yesenia's top is black. But I can say also uh, Loida. Ah, okay, no. okay, okay, Ricardo. Ricardo Jose, thank you. So, uh, Loida, your blouse is black and baby blue, yes? Baby blue. Baby blue and black, y blanco, ¿verdad? So, we write, for example, class here, Loida's blouse. Okay, hold on. You say, Loida's. Okay, blouse is baby blue and uh, white. And the one, uh, ooh, and white, you double you, you and white. Okay, uh, another one, you may say his house is green. Yes. 
And that's it, simple examples. My, my shoes are, my shoes are white, red, brown, okay? And then when you finish the sentences, type in, you send them. You can also say uh, our English class topic? possessives. Our English class is at 3 p.m. I'm going to tell you it is, uh, okay, our English class is at 3 p.m. I'm going to show you right now, okay? You have to look in the platform for, let me see, possessives. 4.5, yeah, 4.5, and then you click in this blue tab, and then you start typing. And when you are done, you let me know, okay? You tell me, so we can continue. Be creative. Use your your relatives' belongings, okay. And also, you you have to use the pronouns. If I say Luis Castaneda, are you wearing a t-shirt or a shirt, a formal shirt? Ah, you're wearing a a suit, a, suit, a jacket. Yes. So I may say, okay. We can write class okay, here. The black jacket is his. Yeah, is the L or um, Luis is wearing a is wearing his black jacket okay and then you have it the same sentence in two different ways And let me see one more, probably. Um, then the new car is hers. El carro nuevo es de ella, le pertenece a ella. Yesenia's house 
is big. Yeah. So the idea is that you use the three types of possessives. And you may write five or six sentences, okay? Five or six. <clears throat> if you cannot uh, type them right now because you are in your cell phone or you are commuting or something like that, you write them in a piece of paper and later you type them in the platform. Las escriben y luego las eh, agregan en la plataforma. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. I can say Williams shirt. Williams. Williams shirt is blue. ¿Ya? Yeah? Or the blue shirt is Williams. Okay. The blue shirt is Williams. Almost finished class. Yes. Casi terminaron, chicos. Cinco o seis oraciones, pero utilizando todos los, los posesivos, ¿verdad? Los diferentes posesivos. Ok, I'm going to take your attendance. So here we go. I'm going to call your names. Adam Vladimir. Absent, you never joined. Ana Beatriz, absent. Beatriz Elizabeth, absent. Brenda Melissa, always Present here. Present teacher. Thank you, always here. And Dennis, Dennis Fernando, absent, never joined. Edgardo Vladimir, never joined. Flor Maria. I'm here, teacher. Great, thank you, Miss. Ine Guadalupe, she's in another group, maybe. Jocelyn Alejandra Flores, Jose David Martinez, Jose Elmer Sanchez, Jose Ricardo. I'm here, teacher. Oh, thank you. Jose Ernesto Campos Bucaro, absent. Lidia Aide, absent. Loida. Present. Thank you, Miss Loida. Lucas David. Absent, Lucas. Luis Eduardo. I'm Castaneda. Here, Thank you. Luis Fernando Estupinian. Absent. Nuria. Absent. Osiel. Ruth Elizabeth. Sandra María. Sandra, she was here. She was the connectivity. Jasmine, Susana, Jensi, mm -hmm. Yesenia, Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Jose Flores. Present, present, here. teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. 
<clears throat> now class that we are done with those activities then we continue okay remember you need to continue working okay in the platform and here we go let's see in our class number four we're going to continue working okay i'm glad that you are here and today we're going to work with the present continuous statements and conjunctions so here we go i need one of you to help me reading the objectives please for today ¿Quién me va a ayudar a leer los objetivos este día? Yo. Thank you, Luis. The specific, specific objectives. Still, students will be able to form. Statements using the present function. Uh, class. As objectives, by the end of the of this class, you will be able to form a statement using the present continuous. Teacher tiene apagado el micrófono. Ay, thank you. Es decir, que al final de esta clase se espera que ustedes eh, estructuren oraciones en presente simple. Y vamos a tomar la fotografía del momento, ¿verdad? Luis, ok. A beautiful and nice smile, please, to the count of three. Ay, Ricardo, you are commuting, ok. To the count of three. One, two, three. I'm going to share it, but later on, because I don't find a WhatsApp. Okay, so hold it. I'm going to here. It vanished. It vanished. Okay, so I'm going to put it like this for a moment. And here, while I make the transition. From one device to the other via WhatsApp. And here, we. Now I think I it is updating. And let's see how it goes. Yeah. Ah, mm. uh, because of the new, uh, uh, por las actualizaciones nuevas, quizás. Por esa razón fue. Ay, no, ¿y qué se hizo la foto? La voy a tomar de nuevo. Mm. Ok. Todos con los ojos bien abiertos, Ricardo. Open the, the, the camera. <laughs> yes. One, two, three. Say yes. Y aquí vamos. Second chance for you to look very handsome. Yes, there you are. Okay, now class, let's continue. Entonces decíamos que um, para hoy el tema es el presente continuo. Y acá comienzo a preguntarle si ponemos en acción ya la clase. José Ricardo Teresón, what are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? I am drinking. What? Uh, salutari. Oh, don't say soda. No, because this goes for you too. You don't have to, unless they pay you as an influencer, of course. Yeah. Okay, I'm drinking a soda. You say, I'm drinking a soda, okay? Because the action is taking place at the moment. Porque la acción está ejecutándose en el momento. Esa es la, la característica del presente continuo. ¿eh? Le pregunté, ¿qué está haciendo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué está haciendo? Y él me dice, I'm drinking my soda. Estoy tomándome mi soda, ¿sí? Ok, and if I say, William, what are you doing right now? I'm taking um, a class, an English class. I'm taking my English class. Very well. Congratulations. Uh, Luis Castaneda, what are you doing? 
Uh, I am eating. Ah, you are at a restaurant. I am eating. I am having lunch. Very well. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. That, okay. You take advantage of your day off. And that is the reason why many of your partners maybe are not connected. Andan disfrutando algunos compañeros y no se conectaron por eso. Okay. Uh, let's see. Flor, what are you doing? Flor, ¿qué está haciendo? What are you doing, Flor? No, microphone. And magic is done. Toca el micrófono y la magia se hace. I am? I am eating pizza. Pizza. Wow. Very healthy food. I am eating pizza. Brenda, what are you doing? Microphone. Brenda, el micrófono. Uh -huh. What I'm are you doing? I'm taking an English class. I'm taking an English class. Very well. And Loida? I'm sit. And I am <laughs> sitting. Very well. Loida, what are you doing? I am watching my class. Excellent. Very well, Jesse. Yesenia, Patricia, what are you doing? I'm here studying. I am I am studying, okay? Yes, Ricardo sir. Jose, what are you doing? Ricardo Jose, ah, he is traveling, he is commuting. Está en su viaje, ruta hacia su casa, okay? Esa es la característica del presente continuo, ¿de acuerdo? Bien, ya que hice la introducción del tema, continuamos con nuestra pipichi. Y miren, chicos, aquí viene el recordatorio de las tareas y evaluaciones, ¿verdad? Recuerden que es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de sus tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se aconseja, se sugiere que las realicen al terminar cada clase para que no se atrasen. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Instaforp semanalmente. El material de apoyo será compartido a criterio profesor en forma digital y seguimos. Por lo tanto, yo les pido de favor que trabajen en la plataforma. Miren, trabajen porque el día, su día, que descansan y que se les ha programado la clase, algunos salen, pueden tomar la clase desde cualquier lugar, pero se les va acumulando el trabajo en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Y tenemos acá las fechas. En la semana 3 hay un examen, ¿verdad? Hay un examen corto, lo tienen que hacer, el Knowledge Test. En la semana 3 está, este, es, solamente está la sección 4, y en la semana 4, que sería la siguiente para ustedes, tendríamos clases lunes, martes y miércoles. Entonces, tendríamos eh, la sección 5 y el examen final, ¿de acuerdo? Para que no sientan, ay, Dios mío, ¿qué es esto? Una carrera terrible. Entonces, vamos adelantando. Miren, así tenemos que estar con las cámaras encendidas y las asistencias espera que el 80%, ¿verdad? Tienen que ir avanzando en el desarrollo de su plataforma de aprendizaje, los horarios establecidos de 3 a 5 en este caso. Serían 120 minutos porque 60 y 60 son 120. Se les eh, sugiere acá, se les anima que sigan trabajando en su plataforma para poder obtener su diploma, ¿sí? Y acá tenemos eso. ¿Se recuerdan que ya lo habíamos visto? Sí, los adjetivos para describir personas. Yes or no. Yes, yes, sí, ok, eso también lo habíamos trabajado ya. Y decíamos que good looking can be used, that adjective to describe the beauty of a man and a woman. Para describir la belleza, el atractivo de un hombre y una mujer, podemos decir good looking, but handsome only for a man, not for a woman. Uh, thin for both, delgado, delgada. Uh, tall for both, boys and girls. Short, tall, Short, tall, short. No decimos eh, small. Una persona nunca va a ser small porque small lo usamos para the size of the clothes, la talla de la ropa, ¿de acuerdo? Y luego tenemos acá friendly, serious, funny, shy, <coughs> talkative, quiet, pretty. Pretty for a woman. You never say, ay, he is so, so pretty. No, you say handsome or good looking. Y esta, esta imagen les trae algo a la mente, algo al recuerdo. ¿Sí? ¿Se recuerdan que estuvimos trabajando las prendas de vestir? Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien. 
y <coughs> estuvimos describiendo cada quien sus prendas de vestir, ¿verdad? Y acá está, miren, cap, igual que la de los compañeros Ricardo y Ricardo, red cap. And then here we have the colors. And we practice this conversation. Do you remember, class? ¿Se recuerdan que practicamos esa conversación o no? Hola. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. La remember. practicamos muy bien. Excelente. Yes, teacher. Excelente. Y acá, miren, ya vamos con los posesivos que hemos hecho el refuerzo, ¿verdad? Para que no se nos complique. Entonces tenemos acá. We have... Uh, Also, this conversation, the weather and the seasons around the world. Pero vamos a continuar un poquito con la plataforma para que escuchen y luego seguimos, ¿sí? Porque tienen que practicar esa conversation. Ah, um, uh, hold it. It's just in the mismo apartado del WhatsApp, la plataforma. Okay, over here. Debo estar intercambiando, probablemente con la con actualización. Ok, here we go. <clears throat> This is what we did, right? Now we move to the next. Ah, and here you have the knowledge test. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer acá los que no lo han hecho? <clears throat> Instructions, complete the conversation with the correct word. Son conversaciones pequeñas. ¿Cuántas? Cuatro. Cinco, porque cuatro y cuatro, miren. Ah, no, porque es y en B, ¿verdad? Entonces serían cuatro conversaciones. Ah, uh, is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. It's my or mine. ¿Cuál será el correcto? De acuerdo a la mine. posición. Mine. Very well. You click over there. Are these gloves? Gloves, remember, guantes. Are these your gloves or yours? The first or the second? It's yours. No. Are these your gloves? Sure. Son estos, ¿verdad? Son estos tus guantes porque sería this, uh, the gloves are yours. Si fuera al final sería yours, ¿ok? Pero acá no y así sucesivamente, pero eso lo hacen ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? Y pasamos al siguiente apartado. Teacher. Hola. Yeah. Diga. Ah, no, es que este es el del 4. No, este es 4.6. Una consulta. Ah, sí, sí. sí, no, pero era del, era del 5. Así que... Ah, cuando lleguemos al 5. Ok. 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 Bueno, y que hay alguien ahí que me está... Veamos, hoy sí ya. Entonces, eh, in this class you will become familiar with the weather seasons. ¿Sí? Nos vamos a familiarizar con las estaciones del año alrededor del mundo. Porque El Salvador creo que solo, ay, summer, only summer, correct, solo verano. Entonces, escuchamos esta conversación, chicos, ¿sí? Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay, so right now we're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to practice this conversation, okay? 
So I think you have your manual at hand, correct? Creo que tienen el manual a la mano, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Oh, yes. Excellent. And here we go. <clears throat> we have, oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. They're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but uh, my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. This is the conversation you're going to be practicing in the breakout rooms. And you switch roles, okay? Practican esta conversación e intercambian roles. Es decir, imaginémonos que en la, primer, la primera vez que van a practicar la conversación, inician Melissa, Brenda Melissa y Yesenia. Entonces, Brenda Melissa lee a Pat y Yesenia lee a Julie. La segunda ocasión que van a practicar, invierten roles. Y comienza Yesenia leyendo a Pat y Brenda, Melissa, lee a Julie. ¿Is that okay? All the people in the breakout rooms must participate. Okay? Todas las personas que están en los breakout rooms deben participar. ¿Sí? ¿Encontraron ya en el manual la, la imagen? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Pero también se puede compartir vía WhatsApp por alguien que. Okay. Okay, so the weather, OCL says tomorrow. Entonces, nos vamos a los breakout rooms. I will have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Vamos a trabajar en dos equipos. Van a ser parejas y parejas para trabajar. No puedo dejarlos en equipo de tres y dos por si alguien pierde la conexión, ¿sí? Y nos vamos. Okay. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Let's begin practicing. Speaking time. Okay, go to your groups. Join your teams and begin. Ricardo, go to your group. Loida. Did you see the invitation, Loida? Loida. Loida, are you having problems with your connectivity? Parece que sí, ¿verdad, Loida? Está teniendo problemas con, con su conexión. Hola, Loida. Bueno, te esperaremos con gusto, Loida. Parece bien, entonces, comienzo. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's say a taxi. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're uh, at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is not warm. 
and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Allá ahorita están los otros compañeros. Okay, eh, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es el otro? Está Flor, Flor Noyola. Okay, Flor, eh, empiezo yo, soy Papi, usted es Julie. Cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay, Let, let's, uh, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Oh no. What's the water? It's snowing and, uh, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. Uh, but my coat is in Warm. And, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Loida. Ahora van ellos dos. William and Chesene. Oh no. What's the light? It is snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, oh. you are wearing your coat? But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Oh no. What the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is where in I am not wearing boot. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julia. Okay, very well. Thanks. 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 Mm -hmm. Or thank you. But in this case, thanks. When you say thanks, you are an S. When you say thank you, no S. Cuando solo decimos gracias, thanks, le agregamos una S. Pero cuando lleva el pronombre you, no lleva esa S, solo thank you, ¿ok? Thank you. Okay, okay let's return them to the main session room, ¿ok? Thank you for practicing. Let's return. Okay, Luis and Flor, they are coming back soon. Okay, class, let's continue. And here we go. We move to the, uh, to the conversation here. <clears throat> 
Okay, William, I am Pat and you are Julie, okay? Oh, no. William? The microphone. Activate your microphone and you continue. Yeah. I am Pat okay. and you are Julie. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Yuli. In this case, thanks, William. Now, let's see Brenda and me. Brenda, you are Pat and I read Julie, okay? Let's begin. One, two, three. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Mm. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, great. Thank you. That was a feedback. Notice I'm not wearing boots. This is a present continuous because at that moment, she is not wearing boots and it is snowing. Está nevando. She is not wearing boots. Ella no está usando botas. She uh, isn't wearing uh, gloves y no está usando guantes tampoco. So she's freezing. Se está congelando. Literally, she's freezing. And here we go with the topic class. I want you to pay close attention to this. The present continuous statements conjunctions. Um, your, she's wearing shoes. Where, there, it's snowing. I'm not. You're not, you aren't. She's not, she isn't wearing boots. We're not, we weren't. Uh, we're not, we, they aren't. It's not, it isn't raining. Fíjense bien, en la segunda columna que les presentan acá, estamos usando la contracción del pronombre personal y el verbo to be. En todas aparece not, ¿verdad? Completa la palabra porque estamos conjugando el verbo to be en forma contractada con el pronombre personal. Sin embargo, en la tercera columna no estamos contractando eso. Estamos contractando el verbo to be y la negación, la partícula negativa. Ojo, que la primera persona no se puede contractar de esa forma. Solamente podemos contractar el pronombre personal con el verbo to be. No podemos decir I not, no, ¿verdad? I not, no. I'm not. No podemos decir I am not. No, that's not correct. Y luego tenemos conjunctions. Las conjunciones son las palabras que nos sirven de unión. ¿verdad? It's snowing and it's very cold. Acá estamos uniendo. Es un enlace o linking word. Se, puede, se le puede llamar a, la, a esta conjunción que es la palabra and. Y. It's snowing and it's very cold. Está nevando y está muy frío. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Acá la palabra but, pero nos está sirviendo también de conector para una unión en una conjunción, pero nos sirve para contrastar. Sin embargo, and nos sirve y, es decir, están al mismo nivel. Pero acá I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Estoy usando, estoy vistiendo un abrigo, pero... No estoy usando, no estoy vistiendo botas. Hace un contraste. So, now here we're going to work on this. <clears throat> Complete these sentences, then compare with a partner. They are for conversations. We're going to complete them according to the image. Okay, I'm going to magnify it a little bit. Uy, I know what happened here. What happened? With the manual. Okay, hold it. Ah, it is here. I ah, another page is an intruder. 
Si lo voy a magnificar un poquito más, acá lo estamos magnificando al 200%. Ah, sí lo estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Ok, so here we go. Let's complete the sentences and compare with a partner. So class, in letter A, look at the picture. My name's Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I... La expresión que nos hace falta ahí, ¿cuál es? I, I am. I am or am. I am wearing, wearing a green suit, a uh, high heel, high heels, zapatos de tacón, high heel, high heels too. It's raining, but, but es para contrastar, not. but I'm not. Very well, but I'm not. But I'm not wearing. Like this, maybe. But I'm not wearing. Y acá lleva el posesivo, ¿verdad? El apóstrofe. El, perdón, la contracción. But I'm not wearing a raincoat. Pero no estoy usando un abrigo para la lluvia. Y acá en la, en la number two. It's a hot today. Toshi and Noriko. Shorts and t-shirts. They are. Okay, so wearing. we say it's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing. Are wearing. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Because they are. Are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they. Como es negativo, but no lo están usando. They, they aren't. They excellent. Are not. They aren't or they are not wearing sunglasses. Sun. Yeah. Okay. And then we move over number three and number four. Okay. Look at the picture and complete. Look at the picture and complete. Okay, Phil. This is Phil. A suit today. Is or isn't? Affirmative is. or negative? Okay, Phil is wearing a suit today. Huh? He is wearing or isn't wearing? Is excellent. He is wearing pants and a jacket. He is or isn't wearing. He is wearing. Correct, because it is brown. His hat. I think he's wearing a hat. Yes. He is wearing. A brown shirt, but he he is not okay. He is not, or he isn't wearing a tie. Yeah, pero no está usando corbata. Okay, that's it. So we have Phil is wearing a suit. Don't say sweet, porque sweet es la suite de un hotel. Sweet es dulce, ¿sí? Entonces, Phil is wearing a suit. Forget about I. Olvídense de la letra I. Suit. Today. He is wearing pants and a jacket. He is wearing a brown shirt, but he is not wearing a tie. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now, let's look at picture number four. And let's go over the completion of the sentences. It's cold today, but Kathy, a coat, is or isn't? Look at her. Isn't. Isn't. Isn't wearing a coat, yeah? She, this is a sweatshirt, una sudadera, sweatshirt. Is or she. isn't? Is wearing. Excellent. Okay. She is wearing a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. 
gloves in a hat. She boots is or isn't wearing. She isn't. Excellent. Is yeah, she isn't or she's not. She isn't wearing boots. She is or isn't wearing sneakers. She is. She is wearing. Excellent. She is wearing sneakers. Okay. And then we have, it's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She's wearing a sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. She isn't wearing boots. She is wearing sneakers. Yeah. Okay, shall we continue with the next activity or do I have to wait for one or two minutes while you finish the completion? Me avisan cuando podamos continuar con la actividad. I'm okay. Okay, thank you for telling me. May I continue class? Yes. <gasps> Luis Castaneda, did you okay. finish writing the sentence? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, Luis, you are wearing a suit. You are wearing a shirt, but you are not wearing a, a tie. So it is like casual. So I think that you are... <clears throat> okay, let's say with some friends. <laughs> okay. We need to practice reading this uh, paragraph, okay? Remember that everything is recorded here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me. What can but I do for this you? Conversation, but this, this conversation? They, no, they, they is are not the... conversation. They are, they are short paragraphs, short descriptions. Estas son ah, pequeñas yeah, yes, conversaciones. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the paragraph is the... Uh, section four, the fourth section. Yes, it is in fourth section. Ah, okay. okay. Sí, es que por acá vamos ya. ¿Cómo vamos adelantando? Ah, uh, yes. yes. Sí, es que como. Ajá. Como yo había terminado ya la, la parte de la. La la cuatro ya la terminó. Y ya va por las cinco. Ya voy a revisar. Sí, ya había terminado la cuatro, ajá. ¿eh? Ah. ¿Y esta parte ya la había completado? Ya. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to be an expert reading. Entonces será un experto en leer. ¿Sí? Solo en eso, quizá. <laughs> no, but that's great. That is why the, the oral <laughs> practice is here. Ya, yeah? la práctica oral es acá. Mm -hmm. Ok, class, so here we go. <clears throat> Please repeat after me. My name is Claire. My name is Claire. Yes, Claire. Claire. I'm yeah. wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing a suit today. Green suit today. Green suit. A green suit today. I am wearing high heels too. I am, I am wearing, wearing high heels, heels too. too. It's raining. It's, it's, raining. it's raining. But I'm not wearing a raincoat. But I'm not but I'm wearing, not a rain wearing a raincoat. It's hot today. It's hot, it's today. hot today. today. Does she and Noriko, Does she she and Noriko, Noriko are wearing shorts and t shirts? It's very sunny. It's very sunny. 
but they aren't wearing sunglasses. But, but they, they are, are not wearing, wearing, wearing sunglasses. Phil is wearing a suit today. Phil, Phil is, is wearing, wearing a, a suit, suit today. today. He is wearing pants and a jacket. He is wearing, he is wearing pants, pants and jacket. jacket. He is wearing a brown shirt. He is wearing a brown shirt. shirt. But, but he's not wearing a tie. But he's not, not wearing, wearing a tie. tie. It's cold today. It's, it's cold today. today. But Kathy isn't wearing a coat. But, but Kathy isn't, isn't wearing, a coat. wearing a coat. She's wearing a sweatshirt. She's wearing a sweatshirt. 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 <laughs> Uh, gloves, 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 gloves. And a hat. And a hat. hat. She isn't wearing boots. She is wearing, wearing boots. She's wearing boots. Wearing blue. Boots. 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 She's wearing sneakers. She's, She's wearing, wearing sneakers. sneakers. Okay, now we're going to go over the platform and we're going to watch the video. Yes. Okay, Over here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Here. <clears throat> it, the, for the conversation, it was only the practice, right? Okay. But we can add a, uh, a comment over here, for example. The weather is very cold and they are not wearing, uh, no, the weather is very cold and uh, who is not wearing, um, wearing boots? Here, let's see. Let me see, girls and boys. Here. Oh, Pat, let's write a comment in the discussion. Okay. Vamos a escribir un comentario en la discusión. Acá. Okay. Okay, here. Click over here. Hagan clic acá. Y vamos a escribir el comentario. Okay. ¿Cuál comentario dijimos que sería? It's very cold and... ¿Y quién no está usando guantes ni botas? Pat or Julie? And Pat... Pat... Isn't wearing gloves... Gloves... And boots, yeah, and boots. It's very cold and Kathy is wearing gloves and boots. And then you send it in the platform. It's very cold and Pat isn't wearing gloves and boots, okay? And then we continue over here with the platform. We move to the weather and seasons around the world. And here, <clears throat> by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Mm, how come? Here we have present continuous statements. And we're going to build some sentences here at the end of the video, okay, in order to show that we understood because it is required, okay? It is required from that part. So shall we, or are you still writing the, the phrase? Todavía están escribiendo la frase. Yes, okay. You let me know when you finish, people. Me avisan, chicos, cuando finalicen de escribir el... 
la frase, ¿ok? Okay, ready? Here we go then. Let's watch and listen to the explanation. Porque esta es la estructura que van a utilizar para formular oraciones en este momento y subirlas a la plataforma, okay? Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay, I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat. But I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and coworkers are doing now. Okay. So right now, you have to picture your friends, your relatives, or your coworkers. What do you think they are doing right now? Tienen que imaginarse en este momento lo que sus amigos, sus parientes o sus compañeros de trabajo están haciendo en este momento. Si yo les pregunto, what is Luis doing right now? <coughs> ¿Qué está haciendo Luis en este momento? No, los demás contestan. Look at him. What do you think he's doing right now? ¿Qué creen que está haciendo Luis en este momento?
He's having lunch. Let's imagine. Está almorzando. Yes. Y si yo le digo, what is Ricardo uh, Flores doing? And then you tell me, he is getting home or he is arriving home. Está llegando a casa, sí. Okay, he at least is, uh, uh, you know, showing his gratefulness for something. Uh, he's greeting the waiter. Está saludando a la mesera y diciéndole muchas gracias. Thank you, okay. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a escribir. Vamos, uh, de acuerdo a lo que dice el speaker, van a escribir oraciones en uh, presente continuo, describiendo lo que sus parientes están haciendo y lo subiremos a la plataforma, ¿ok? But let, let's uh, finish listening what the speaker says. For example, I'm learning English. Uh -huh. My wife is cooking dinner. Y Luis nos va a contar lo que le está haciendo. I'm having lunch. Y la persona o las personas que están frente a él, ¿qué están haciendo? ¿De acuerdo? Así como acá, mire. My boss okay, uh, is working. I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My office. boss is working at his office. ¿Qué estará haciendo el jefe o la jefa de ustedes? Use your imagination. My boss is working. Yes. Or having fun. O divirtiéndose. Having fun. What do you think? I think that my boss is learning English. Learning English too. Okay, great. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Amazing. <laughs> Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's it. That is the instruction. Okay, here, den tanto ejemplos como puedan y compártalos en nuestro foro de discusión, en este foro de discusión que está acá, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a escribir seis oraciones, ¿ya? Six sentences, original sentences. For example, Okay, let's uh, have a brainstorming of sentences. Vamos a tener lluvia de ideas de las oraciones. You dictate them to me, okay? And here we go, some of them. And then you write them in the platform. Y luego las escriben en la plataforma, ¿ya? Yeah? But I'm going to... Okay, class, hold it. Here we go. It's Sunny and Brenda is enjoying at the beach. Está haciendo calor y Brenda está disfrutando en la playa. Okay, let's imagine. Because you have to use your imagination. Maybe it's true, maybe it is not. And then, number two. Um, de lo que están haciendo sus compañeros puede ser. Okay, Luis, what is Luis doing, class? Luis is... Yes, William, what do you think Luis is doing? Hmm. Luis is drinking. Is drinking what? <laughs> water, coffee. Water. Drinking coffee. Okay. And uh, uh, where the the a cappuccino? Yes. Okay. Now another one. You tell me. Jose Ricardo. Jose Ricardo. Is what is he doing? Is writing. Is writing sentences. Yes, he's writing sentences. And uh, what about? Let me see. Um. You say my boss, and you write one sentence. 
okay, describing what you think or you see your boss is doing. My boss is. ¿Qué estará haciendo su jefe o su jefa? Eating my pizza. Comiéndose su pizza está eh, su jefa. <ríe> en serio. Bueno, ¿quién es la jefa acá? ¿Quién dijimos que iba a comer pizza? ¡Ay! Es la jefa. Flor no yola. Flor es la, es la jefa. Oh, I didn't know. Nice to meet you, boss. Ok, my boss is eating, pero la pizza de él se está comiendo, no está comiendo pizza, sino que le quitó la pizza. Ok, is eating my pizza. And it was... His, his ah, pizza. No, porque él dijo my pizza, ¿verdad? Es la, la de él, ¿sí? Entonces yo escribí literal lo que él dijo, que Flor se estaba comiendo la pizza de él. Is that correct? <laughs> okay. Maybe William is a baker. Maybe. Okay. So, uh, William. William is. Let's think about one action that William is doing, but not taking class. William is. Listening, listening to music, yes? Another one, number my six. My son is play. Playing, my son is playing. Play. Playing or playing a, a sport or video games or just playing, playing. My son is playing. Play. Playing, okay, very well. Playing. One more. My daughter, Brenda. Mi hija. My daughter is sitting. Is sitting. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. This is number seven. And now number eight. They are an action that they are performing, they are maybe they are eating Sleep. chicken and I am drinking a soda. We may say also um, in number nine, they are sleeping, but I am studying. Yay, very sad. Yes, sad. Okay, they are sleeping, but I, but I, but I am studying. Okay, pero yo estoy estudiando. And number 10, tell me one. You tell me the sentence. Okay, díganme la oración, use your imagination about your mother, your wife, your husband. ¿Qué creen que está haciendo su esposo o su esposa en este momento? Okay. My husband is reading a book. Excellent. My husband is reading a book. Excellent. Very well. So there you have many sentences. So you choose. And you upload them to the platform. Is that okay? Okay, so you tell me when we can go over the next activity. Me avisan cuando podamos continuar con la actividad siguiente, okay? Yes, miss. Okay, thank you, Luis. Luis is smiling. Ricardo Flores is writing. Ricardo José Flores, right?
Ay, ¿dónde está? Le quiero renombrar. Hola. Hola. Here. Uy. I am renaming you. Ricardo José Flores, right? That's your yes. name. Okay, class. Here, yep. please repeat after me. It's sunny and Brenda is enjoying at the beach. It's sunny and Brenda is enjoying at the beach. Enjoying at the beach. Enjoying at the beach. Luis is drinking coffee. Luis is drinking coffee. My boss is eating my pizza. My, my boss is, is eating my, my pizza. My pizza. William is listening to music. William, William is listening to music. My son is playing. My son, my son is playing. playing. My daughter is sitting. My daughter is eating. They are eating chicken and I am drinking soda. They are eating chicken and I drink soda. They are sleeping, but I am studying. They are sleeping, but I am studying. My husband is reading a book. My wife is reading a book. Okay. Now, let's continue, and here we go. Let's continue with the manual. In class, here is what uh, it was explained in the video, and we were over the completion of this uh, paragraph, and now that you have completed this paragraph, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can practice reading, okay? I need you, everybody needs to read. Paragraph one, two, three, and four. Okay. It is a speaking time. Hello. And you are going to practice. Okay. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms right now and you practice those uh, paragraphs. Here we go. Hello, Ciel. Welcome. So, let's see. I'm going to send you right now the invitation, okay? Remember, everyone needs to read the four paragraphs. Let's practice pronunciation. Go to your breakout rooms, please. I'm going to be monitoring your work as every day that we have a class. Join your groups. I sent you the invitation, please. Go to your groups. Jesenia Patricia, go to your group. Brendix, go to your group. Loida, join your group, please. Loida, join your group. Okay. Loida, Loida, are you having problems with your connectivity? We need you in group number two. See you, Loida. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Perdón, que. Really? Vamos a, a practicar, pero no puedo, no tengo la, la conversion. La, los párrafos. Vaya a los maestros y le, y le toman a screenshot. Okay. Take a screenshot. Porque sería en dos partes, porque lo tengo magnificado. Bien, permítanme, cerramos acá, ok. Take a screenshot of these two paragraphs. One moment. Ok. 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 Ok, now the other two. Now take a screenshot of this one. Ahora de esta otra tomen a screenshot. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So now you are able to practice, correct? Ahora sí ya pueden practicar. In team, you are four. So you choose who is going to be your partner and you begin reading and later you switch roles, okay? Entonces acá como hay cuatro, two and two, I think. Probably. But you decide, okay? Bye bye. Bye. Let's begin practicing. No. Okay. Okay, who's going to practice with who? Tienen, verdad, completas la, la, los párrafos. Yes or no? No. Shame on you. Mm, qué vergüenza, qué pena. No. Oh, why do you do this to me? Porque me hacen estas cosas. Cosas así, como esta. Vaya, les voy a compartir y le toman a screenshot. ¿Sí? Ok, here we go. Primero de las dos conversaciones, de los dos párrafos primero, ok. Begin, please. Ok, are you ready? ¿Puedo mostrarle las otras dos, los otros dos párrafos? Sí. Yes? yes? Ok, here we go. Uy. Ok, take the other screenshot. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. ¿Quién va a empezar a leer acá? ¿Quién iniciará la lectura? Hello, teacher. Hel Hello, Ciel. Eh, yo soy, pero ahorita estoy en break, pero yo creo que llego hasta las cinco, no sé si... Ah, vaya, entonces de... practique, practique. Ok. Ay, no, mejor se los comparto yo y me quedo aquí. Okay, aparezco ahí. Ok, comienza Ociel a practicar. Comience y aprovechemos que esté en el break. Bueno, bueno. Okay. Feliz. Vaya, eh, ¿y qué hizo, niño? No, 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 yo no he hecho nada. No, eh, Luis, que estaba compartiendo. Ah. Vaya, acá se las comparto. Ah. Vaya, ok, go ahead, Ociel. Yo, yo, ¿cuál, ¿cuál texto leo? Lo, los cuatro tienen que leer cada uno, porque estamos en, en lectura en este momento. Ok, reading. Léame esos Antes dos yo, párrafos. Yo, yo voy a leer esos dos párrafos. Sí, léalos. Uh, my name is, eh, con el nombre de Claire. No, eh, sí, porque como las okay. prendas de ella van a escribir, no va a estar ah, bueno, así bueno, con bueno. esas prendas, ¿verdad? Bueno, 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 bueno. Ok. Bye. My name is Clary. I am wearing a green suit today. I am wearing high heels. High to heels. Each, high heels. High heel. Mm -hmm. To it's raining, but I am not wearing a raincoat. 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 El otro también. Yes. It's here today. To see um, an Norico are wearing shirts and shirts. It's very t-shirts. T-shirt. It's very sunny. But they, but they aren't wearing sunglasses. 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 Okay. sunglasses. Yes. Now read about Phil. This one. Phil. Eh, o si él, o si él lea, lea sobre Phil y luego lee el último párrafo, ¿ok? Phil is wearing a, a suit today. Ok, listen, o si él. Phil is wearing a suit today. Suit. La letra Phil, I no se pronuncia. Suit. Uh, Phil is wearing a suit today. A, ¿Sí? A suit. A suit today. Gracias. Ok. He is wearing. Uh, he is wearing pants and a jacket. 
jacket. No sé, jacket. No, jacket. that's okay, jacket. That's okay. Jacket. Uh -huh. He's he, wearing. He is wearing a brown, uh, brown shirt, boots. But. But, but uh, he is done wearing a tie. A tie. A tie. A tie. A tie. Okay. Sí, uh, Ociel, repeat after me. It's cold today. It's cold today. But Kathy. But, but, but Kathy. Isn't it, wearing a coat. Isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing a, a sweatshirt. 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 Gloves um hat she uh -huh. uh, is wearing boots she is wearing a sneaker sneakers a sneaker okay very well congrats thank and you now the other people who's next ¿Quién le siguiente? okay flor John Carly. okay sí. begin uh, my name is Flor. I am wearing a green suit today. Suit. 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 Today, um, I am wearing high health. Suit. High health suit. It's raining, but I am not wearing a record. Yeah, continue with the other. Um, it's hot. It, it's a hot today. Toshi and Noriko, as is Yes. Are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It is very sunny, but they aren't wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses, yeah. The other two? Pill is wearing a suit today. He is wearing pants and jacket. He is wearing a brown shirt, but uh, he is not wearing a tie. It's cool today, but Cold. Kathy, but Cold. Kathy is is wearing a coat. She is wearing a I sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Uh, she is a uh, sweatshirt, gloves, and, uh, and uh -huh. a hat. She is wearing boots. She is wearing uh, sneakers. She is wearing sneakers. Okay, very good. Next participant. Luis. We don't listen to you, Luis. Okay. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit, suit today. I'm wearing high hose too. It's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. It's hot today. Toshi and Rico are wearing, I'm wearing. Uh, shirts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. 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 Okay, next one. Uh, Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a uh, he is wearing pants and jacket and a jacket. He is wearing a brown shirt, but he is not wearing a tie. It's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing isn't wearing a coat. She is uh, wearing a, a sweatshirt. 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 Gloves and a hat. She isn't wearing boots. She is wearing a sneaker. No. 
A sneaker, she's... no. A sneaker, yeah. no. <laughs> un, un tenis, no. She's wearing... Uh, she's sneakers. wearing sneakers. Uh -huh. Okay, very well. Next, Loida. Loida. My name is Claire. I am wearing a green suit today. I am wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I am not wearing a raincoat. It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they aren't wearing sunglasses. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing pants and a jacket. He is wearing a brown shirt, but he is not wearing a tie. It's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing a swim shirt, gloves, and a hat. She isn't wearing boots. She is wearing sneakers. Todos practicaron ya, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, let's return to the main session room. Regresemos entonces al salón principal. Ok, let's continue while the others return. Remember, class, it is in this case, the word is suit, not suit. You don't pronounce the letter I. No pronunciamos acá la letra mm. I. La letra I, solo la U. Entonces, esta letrita... Uy, ¿y quién me está? ¿Quién me está interrumpiendo? Ok, solamente quería trabajar la letra I, pero parece que alguien me está invadiendo. Mi, mi pantalla. Suit, ok, suit, not suit, suit. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing pants and a jacket. He is wearing a brown shirt, not shirt, no, sh shirt, but he is not wearing a tie. And then in here we have, it's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing a sweatshirt. Sweat eh, es sudar. Sweatshirt, la camisa que usas para sudar la sudadera, okay? A sweatshirt. Gloves and a hat. She isn't wearing boots. She's wearing sneakers. You don't say she's wearing uh, sneakers? No, because sneakers is plural. Tennis is un plural. She is wearing sneakers. Okay, por eso no podemos decir ah. And then here, my name is blah, blah. I'm wearing a green, a green suit. Again, suit today. I am wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they aren't wearing sunglasses. So we're going to build a short paragraph. All together, let me see. <clears throat> Where is uh, Ricardo? Mm. He's not here. Okay, so here... According, we're going to write a paragraph similar to this one. Okay. It's hot today, and we're going to be describing the clothes we are wearing. Okay. So here, I'm going to give you an example. Over here. Let's see. 
for instance class, you may write because you're going to work in the breakout rooms. <clears throat> it's hot today. Ociel. Uy. Hi. Okay, Ociel is wearing. ¿Qué está vistiendo Ociel esta tarde cálida? ¿Cómo está vestido Ociel? Choose a gray t-shirt. Is wearing a gray t-shirt. What else? T-shirt. Ociel, your pants or jeans? Hi, hi. Es que en realidad no sé quién está contestando. No, es que nosotros estamos describiendo lo que usted está vistiendo en esta tarde de calor. It's ah, hot no. today. Ociel is wearing a gray t-shirt. ¿Qué bueno. más anda? Bueno, alguien me dijo que usted está vistiendo una camisa gris, ¿es cierto? Sí. ¿Es gris su camisa, Ociel? Sí, sí, sí correcto. Ok, and your pants, what color are they? What? Your, what color are your pants? ¿Qué color son eh, sus pantalones? Blue. Ajá, uh -huh, uh, a gray t-shirt. Blue. Jeans or pants? Uh, jeans. Blue jeans. And en los zapatos o sneakers. Hoy sí, ando con zapatos. O, o shoes. Ah. <laughs> And uh, what color are your shoes? Coffee. Brown. Brown, Perdón. because coffee, brown, you drink brown. the coffee. Okay? Sí, sí, sí. And sí, sí, sí. brown. Sí. Brown, brown. Okay. And brown shoes. Okay. Imaginémonos que Loida está en el grupo de Ociel y comenzamos eh. a describir. Loida is wearing. ¿Verdad? Shoes. Uh -huh. Green shoes. Mm, Green is shoes. Like, ok. ¿Qué color es la, la, la blusa de Loida? Green or, Green. or baby blue? Green. Uh, Loida, what no, color is your blouse? Yes, blue. Baby blue. Baby blue. Baby blue. Line. Uh, uh, Line white and blue. A baby blue in white blouse. Yes or no? Y que más anda vestida a uh, Loida. And short green. Green shorts. Green shorts. And your shoes, are you wearing shoes? Yeah, no. O sandalias. No. Dale. Only that. <laughs> Because it's very hot. Y ahí luego escriben lo que el otro compañero está vistiendo, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, esta es la actividad que vamos a hacer en este momento, ¿les parece? Ok, pero de los miembros del equipo. Y todos comenzamos. It's hot today, ¿ok? Hoy está caliente el clima, está bien cálido. And then you say, ok, here. Y comienzan a describir. El, escriben el nombre de la persona is, luego wearing y las prendas que están vistiendo, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, here we go. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You have five minutes. Tienen cinco minutos. Como no andan zapatos, va a ser más fácil. Some people are not wearing shoes, so it's easier. <laughs> ok, barefoot. Go to your... Sí, varios están así. Pues sí, it's very hot. That's great. Comfortable. Ok, go to your groups. Because Ociel didn't wear shoes last class. Ociel no usó zapatos en la clase anterior. Ok, join your groups. Flor and Loida, I need you in your groups, girls. Loida y Flor a sus equipos, señoritas. Join your groups. Teresa. <risa> uno de esos volados que son shorts y lleva también top arriba, o sea, una sola pieza es. Ah, Pero saber cómo Perica se dice, yo le voy a decir que I am supongamos que es un vestido. ¿Ah? Supongamos que es un vestido. Ajá, ajá. O lo de, o lo así como outfit, dice. Outfit, outfit. 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 Eh. Ah, ajá. No, pues, eh. Vaya, vamos a ver. 
vaya a lavarse las manitas. Sí, ahorita. Se dice descalzo. Barefoot. 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 B -A -R -E. I'm a dress. Ajá. And I'm wearing barefoot. Así. And, bear, and I am barefoot. Descalza. And I, and I am barefoot. Yes. And I am barefoot. Hola, Meli. Teacher, y, y así como, como yo, que es centro o cómo se dice? Um, ¿Qué fue I la am, teacher? No, aquí estoy, niño. I am wearing a. ¿No la veí? Ajá. A, I am wearing. I am what wearing. Isn't. A, what color is it? Gray, right? I am wearing a. Gray. Ajá. A gray. Uh, no sleeves. A gray nose, I am wearing a gray nose sleeves. Sleeves son mangas. Okay, no sleeves. Sin mangas. T-shirt, T-shirt. No sleeves. No sería, sería. No sería una forma más corta. Por ejemplo. Pero como era lo de we, Walks. I was isn't de, mm -hmm. de que eh, ando en centro, pero no es correcto. Ok, you say I'm wearing. Ok, I'm wearing. Okay, I'm wearing ah, uy. White. I'm wearing a gray. Ajá. Tell me. Uy. A gray. A... a gray. Dígame, Ricardo José. A... Why es, eh, sería Why a el Why Why el, es... el... Eh, No, es A. A. De, 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 a. El. Kiss. K. O Q, creo que K, ajá, K. S. A box. No. Okay, if you say so, that's correct. I'm wearing a gray, a gray box. Okay, and what else? No, but they have to eh, write. Eh, Usted no es, ajá. They have to write. Es correct. Jose. Ok, José is wearing, porque todos lo van a escribir en el párrafo. No van a escribir solo I am, ah, ¿sí? Entonces, por eso tienes que escribir ah, el nombre de, de, de cada quien, para que distingamos quién okay. es el que está vistiendo esa ropa, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Entonces, ok. About to finish. Ya casi. Yes, sure. We are Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, class. Pero lo están haciendo como equipo, ¿verdad? No individual. Porque lo tienen que leer como equipo. And uh, <clears throat> let's describe what Flor is wearing. Flor is wearing a pair of earrings. Está usando aritos. She's wearing a necklace. 
¿verdad? Está usando un, una, un collar gargantino. And what else? Flor, tell us. Flor, ¿qué más? And he is she. wearing, she is wearing a, a, bla, a, a black shoes. A black blouse. Yes. Sleeveless, yes. sleeveless blouse. Sin mangas, sleeveless blouse. Yes? Or is it a top? Flor, I think it is a top, right? Es un top, ¿verdad? Sí, es un top. Yes. Uh -huh. A yes. black top, a black top. She is wearing a black top. And what else? You say a black top. Like this. And she is wearing a blue t-shirt. Flor is uh, blue shirt. wearing... <laughs> A pair of earrings, a necklace. Uy. Floor is wearing a pair of Teacher. earrings. Yes. Ya se me llevó la hora. Ay, thank you for being here. It's time. Yes. Ok, sí, gracias por unirse. Mañana o si él tal vez se puede unir. Mañana, Mañana a las tres. Las... Ok, a por las favor. Tres. Ok, bueno. excelente. Gracias. Bueno, bueno. Aprecio que se haya unido. Bye, see you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Great. See you tomorrow. Flor is wearing a pair of earrings, a necklace, a black top, a black top, ¿verdad? And what else? Short. What color is your shirt, Flor? <laughs> no, I don't listen. In a a blue blue shirt. In a blue shirt. Are you wearing shoes? No shoes. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. And in a blue shirt, Flor is wearing a pair of earrings, a necklace, a black top, and a blue shirt, and that's it. Yes. Okay. Very well. We move to the main session room. Remember that we call all of those uh, tops. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Podemos continuar? Yes? Okay. Here we go. Now, let's return to the main session room. T-shirt. Yes, sir. I have to go. Yes, we have to go too. I only have to close the class. Give me 10 seconds. Okay, class, okay. listen. We have been working with the present continuous statements. Y eso fue lo que estuvieron construyendo ahora. Es decir, cumplimos nuestro objetivo, ¿de acuerdo? Y luego, ¿qué tenemos acá? Miren, luego tenemos el knowledge test que tienen que ir completando y está relacionado a lo que hemos estado viendo. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too or I am wearing high heels too. ¿Cuál es la correcta? I'm wearing high heels too or I am wearing. Acá está en forma contractada y acá está en forma larga. Entonces, mire las fotos e ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Algunas oraciones deben ser negativas y otras afirmativas, dependiendo de la foto. Siga el ejemplo. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today or I'm wearing high heels too. I'm wearing high heels too. I am wearing high heels too. Y acá, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I... Acá, ¿qué es lo que tiene que ingresar usted? I am wearing. I am wearing. Okay, la estructura, ¿verdad? Y así continúa. 
Unas van a ser afirmativas y otras negativas, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, class, Israel. thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. Continue working on the platform, please, and see you tomorrow, ok? Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, Brenda. Bye, Loida. Bye, William. Bye. Thank you, Ricardo. Bye, bye, Yesenia, Flor, Luis. See you. Continue enjoying, people. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Have a great evening. Bye, bye. Continue bye. enjoying your coffee. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye, baby. Bye.